had another 50 point game last night. Yes, Fifty piece, did. lemon pepper, habanero. Oh, you, you want to keep going? You're just gonna steal Barbecue. You're just gonna steal teriyaki. You're just gonna steal Cajun rub. I love it. Uh, how many fifty point games did you have in your career? Uh, high school. Well, well, hey. I don't think I had a fifty point game in high school. Well, let let Steph Curry show you how it's done <laughs> because he had the twenty second fifty point game of the year, which Crazy. is mm. insane, and it's still. Jimmy. Uh, oh, wasn't enough, Chine. It beats the Zubats going to work down low. One of my favorite players, underrated big, that really just is efficient and effective for the Clippers. But watch this. This is important because this is Draymond Green picking up his 16th technical foul, which means it triggers an automatic suspension for the game in Atlanta. He's confident. He told me that it's going to get rescinded, though. Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry. I'm just watching. I know. Steph, Steph I magic. I don't know if that's going to get rescinded. He's confident. I he love told Dre, me Dre, he's I love your confidence. Confident. I'm he's confident regardless. I yeah. want my guy. Well, down. you know who had some confidence, especially in the third quarter? Steph Curry. He was cooking. It was ridiculous. I called the game last night, and you did? when I tell you that the entire <laughs> audience, like the only thing that was that was slowing down Steph was the Clipper, like the Clipper offense. It was so impressive because all those 50 points, all these little layups. That shot was stupid. Every, he had two of them. Show he had two of them. <laughs> look at look at the wrist. It, it, it was a master class. But look, the Clippers were impressive last night. They answered. Oh, Eric Gordon where's was, the defense? Eric Gordon was huge. We're gonna get to that lack of defense there here in a second, but. Look, he was doing it all. Like I said, he had two of those shots, Malika. Steph Curry had 21 points in the third quarter, 41 through three. The Warriors down six, though, after. So we pick it up in the fourth quarter, midway through the fourth. Clippers up nine at this point. You said it, Kawhi Leonard rounding into form, Richard. It was so impressive. He's just so efficient. It just like the amount of dribbles, everything he does. And Steph was doing every single thing he could to keep him in it. But the Warriors' issues are not on the offensive end. Right. And the Clippers' issues are fizzling out by the day. They were were clicking on all cylinders. Paul George, he hits that. Steph Curry knows at this point that his 50 burger would not be quite enough. So the Clippers, they improved to 12 and 2 when Kawhi Leonard scores 30. Then you can see Steph. I mean, this is crazy. The Warriors drop to 0 and 2 when he scores 50 this season, and that is just not acceptable, frankly. Let's hear from Steph Curry and Kawhi Leonard after the game. I mean, uh, I'm just happy that we were able to, you know, get these wins, um, you know, uh, you know, playing good basketball, uh, you know, getting 30 points and losing, uh, you know, where I'm at in my career is, uh, you know, it doesn't do much for me. So if I'm able to come out and, and get a win and, you know, our team is in a good place, uh, you know, that I'm more happy with that. Y'all know me. It's. It's nice to play well, shoot well. That's what I expect to do every night. Um, no matter what the stat sheet looks like after the game, it's just frustrating when uh, you can't get over the hump and figure out a way to get a win, especially with where we've been all season on the road, so. The numbers are hard to ignore. Chanae, what did you see? I mean, this is straight wild. Look at the numbers right here. Three-point defense by Bang They're first in the NBA when they're at home defending the three-point line. 41%, 29th, second worst in the NBA when they are on Unprecedented. The road. I don't know how sway, but let me show you uh, exactly what really won the game. And so let's dive into this. By the way, y'all, I want you to look at this right here. 34 seconds on the clock. That means two for one, right? Two possessions is what you're aiming for. That's why Kawhi Leonard lets the ball roll. So he lets the ball roll. He's trying to eat up some clock so that he can get these two shots in for his team. Pause it right there. The Warriors, they're in a 1-2-2, one, two, two, right? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, two. In one, two, two zones, they're hard to rebound. We all know this, but I want you to keep an eye on Mr. Terrence Mann because he makes a beeline on the rim and no one, he goes untouched all the way down there. Look at him, hmm. grabs, snatches this board. And this is so important because the Clippers, what do they have? They had 16, oh, you like my arrows there? He had 16 offensive boards. They converted that into 27 points. What do the Warriors have in, you know, in contrast? Only 11 points off of the boards. Hmm. Things like this will get you wins in the NBA just by hustle and heart. All right, as the play goes, again, they're in zone. It's hard to defend, you know, a pick and roll in zone. So nice little attack right here. Beautiful extra pass. I'm going to slow it down right here because watch Kawhi. A really strong, I mean, look at this hand. A really strong closeout. He reads it. He's able to attack. Most importantly, 
He draws the help defense. Here's the help defense. But what I love about this right here is that he's able to find two shooters. And who are the two shooters? One, he has two options because DiVincenzo has to make a decision, a business decision. Who am I going to guard? He's either way too late. Shot goes up. And watch. You know, Richard, these are the favorite things that I like to watch. I want you to watch this guy right here. You he's show like, me. Look at this. I don't know if this is happiness or sadness. It's, it's, it's a motive. It's there we emotion. go. Emotion. It's emotion. Yeah, we got that. Watch the emotion. He's like, oh, man, another <laughs> offensive board. He could be a Warriors fan. Or he'd yep. be like, oh, man, yeah, Clippers, you guys are getting it that done. Was a good, that was a good form you had there. But yeah, you, this guy right here has 50. It's unacceptable for them to lose when he has 50, so the Warriors have more questions. Right. And guess what? The Clippers, their availability, their guys making the right reads, knocking down shots, you know, passing the ball open, they have more answers And you now. could see that look on Steph Curry's face after the game, but you were actually on the call, Richard. Yes. What did you see? Well, look, again, I had the pleasure of calling both games. I called their home game against Phoenix. Obviously, mm -hmm. there was no Kevin Durant. And then their second game. But look at this. I want to show you guys, like, Cheney, to Cheney's point, their difference between home and road defense is ridiculous. Now, Monday against Phoenix, yep. 19 threes for the Warriors. Now, mind you, this was no Kevin Durant, but there's no Wiggins. There's, like, teams are missing, guys. They held them to four for 21. So you're like, okay, Warriors Maybe win. this is starting. Warriors right. do what they do, right? They're, they've been struggling on the road, struggling are, and winning at home. The very next game. Now, mm -hmm. mind you, the Clippers are a talented team. But 17 threes to 16 threes. That means that the Clippers basically were on par with the Golden State Warriors, and that's not going to get it done. You can't have these numbers yeah. at home defensively against a good three-point shooting team in, in the Suns and then do this. Wait, wait, Richard, does this mean you actually like the numbers? No, 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 no. We're like, just making a point. No, numbers? no, 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 no. We're just making a point. But let's go, <laughs> let's go to the graphic. When you have this disparity, the next graphic, mm. look at them. They are 29 and 7 at home. Why? because they are one of the best at defending the three and shooting threes. The Warriors were always a math problem. They would switch <laughs> all five across, not let you shoot threes, and then they would obliterate you from threes. So it was a math problem, as JJ likes to say, the math wasn't mathing. <laughs> On the road, 7-27. and 27. A lot of that is because their inability to defend the three and the amount that they are fouling so they can't get out and then transition. This is a big, this is maybe yeah. the biggest gap in NBA history. Don't quote me on that. I'm probably sure. <laughs> don't ask me. Don't, don't have me. Don't at me. But it's one don't of the worst me, that you've ever seen, and it's because the Warriors, their right. identity completely changes. The minute they get on the road, they're a completely different team. And we're just not used to this from the Golden State Warriors. Historically, they've been one of the most versatile teams yep. that we have seen. But you know who else is versatile? Who? Did you see this last night Richard Jefferson take take a listen to this oh no you've done a great job I, if this coaching thing doesn't work out rude. you'd be pretty good on television <laughs> thank you I appreciate that um I don't think I could pull off those shoes though I think I think you can I, I think mm. you're outstanding so I think what Steve Kerr said is I don't think that you can pull off those shoes but it was hard for me to hear because the mic was in his face so if I could Chanae with your assistance let me do a little bit of a breakdown of okay. my own here because I have a little bit of experience uh, here we go on the sidelines and in final here freeze it go. please Chanae. so I like this I'm nervous at this point in time America I'm sweating and right? we all know because the eye contact it isn't <laughs> quite there we like to see a little bit of a connection with our subjects just let them know hey we're about to go on camera it's eye contact be good. You eye like contact, eye contact. contact. Pick number one okay. I like eye contact. I like eye contact please play it so then <laughs> you get ready like... you're get ready I can see you formulating your questions in your head <laughs> that's good eye contact there now maintain it <laughs> <laughs> This is very important, Richard. When the subject is talking, what they have to say is infinitely more important than what you have to say. Trash. I know that's a hard concept for you to grasp at times, my friend. Just make sure the microphone, Shanae, stays firmly in place, in position. It is all about your stance. Sorry to interrupt, because look right here. There's the microphone this while he's talking. This is a beautiful talking. example, Shanae. Thank you for pointing and that then, out. What? And then it goes back to you. I think it is a solid first outing. It was nice to see. This is maybe the equivalent of like a, a, a Jordan Poole performance earlier in the year. We're seeing some glimpses of what he could okay, be, let and me then see. he's guys, rounding into four. You guys four. know the term, a jack of all trades, a master of none? That is me. <laughs> I can do it all. I am, I'm not good at any of it. You're a perk word. You're a joke. No, right? oh, no. A jack, jack of all okay. trades. Okay. Joke. A joke. I, I, no, let's not, no, like, not kind of eh. start using that. You know, I've been sweet. I've been a joke. I've been a lot of different things <laughs> last couple of days, so let's not address that. A for effort, B in actuality, but we will see him on the sidelines again. Good work, Richard. Oh, that was... Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.